have you ever been told that you come across sometimes as unapproachable or unfriendly until people get to know you and you're thinking, what in the world? How can you be more approachable and appear friendlier just through your body language without saying a word? Today, I'm going to give you five ways that you can do that. My name's Antoinette Griffin. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this. The first way to appear more approachable and friendlier is by slowing down your pace. Some of you are probably like me. You just tend to have a quick pace whenever you're walking, whenever you're at work, or whenever you are in a social situation. You just walk quickly. And what that means is when you're walking quickly, it sends the message to other people that you really don't have time to be interrupted. You don't have time to stop and engage with other people. So people are going to be less likely to approach you. They're going to feel like they don't want to bother you. My favorite quote is John Maxwell's quote, which is, walk slowly through the crowd. Have you noticed that some of the people that have the best connections with other people are the people who just simply slow down their pace. They're not in a hurry. Believe me, this takes practice. I have to tell myself whenever I'm going somewhere, it's slow down my pace. For some of you, it may be because you're very task oriented. So you're getting what you need to get, whether it's work, whether it's going into the grocery store, no matter what it is, you tend to walk quickly because you're very task oriented. Some of you, you may tend to walk quickly because you don't really want to call attention to yourself. And so you want to walk quickly so that you won't be noticed. However, make it a practice to slow down your pace. When you do that, it sends this, this sense of calm and this sense of ability to want to connect with other people. The second way is to initiate eye contact. A lot of times we feel awkward about eye contact with strangers. And I know it differs depending on what part of the country or what part of the world that you're in. However, when you initiate warm eye contact with someone, then it shows that you are approachable and friendly. So you don't want to glare at someone and you don't want to look shifty eyed. But when you give someone warm eye contact, it shows that you're acknowledging them and that you are approachable versus if you don't give someone eye contact at all, then it's really the same as ignoring them. So when you're not giving someone eye contact, then you're not being approachable. And the third way is directly related to the second, meaning that you want to do both at the same time. And that is to give someone a polite smile. It's letting the other person know non-verbally that you are friendly and approachable. In case you're wondering what are the details behind a polite smile, I've got a video above and in the description below that talks all about the meanings of a polite smile. So be sure to check that out. The next way you can be more approachable through your body language is by thinking about about where is your torso and where are your feet pointed? Meaning, if you want to be approachable to a specific person or to a group of people, then you want to angle your torso, you want to angle your, and point your feet in the direction of where they are at. This is gonna send a subconscious message to the other person that that is where your attention is going. Think about this in the opposite way. When you're ready to end a conversation, or whenever you don't want somebody to approach you, it is natural for you to turn away from them and in the same sense, turn your feet the other direction as well. So someone is going to be much more likely to approach you when you are facing them, not only looking at them through eye contact, not only through a warm smile, but also where your torso is pointed and where your feet are pointed. And the next way that you can look approachable and friendly is by having more of an open body language. So think about your arms. Rather than crossing your arms, having your arms open. Even think about your hands. To have your hands open rather than your fist clench or you're crossing one arm across your body. Having that open body language that says, hey, I am approachable and I am a friendly person. Now, other people aren't going to look at you and say, well, their body language looks closed, so therefore I'm not going to approach 
approach this person. These are things that we don't think about whenever we're in a situation with other people. But when people have more open body language, they're more approachable and they're viewed as friendlier. And here's the bonus at the end, and that is take the initiative with other people. You can be very approachable and re very friendly with your body language, but sometimes you still have to take the initiative with someone else that you want to engage with. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll share it and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.